After two weeks of talks at COP26, the Glasgow Climate Pact was endorsed by almost 200 countries. Although disappointing in many respects, the pact did call on countries to accelerate their carbon cutting commitments, phase out some fossil fuels, and increase aid to poor countries. But while the pact does have several references to children, vulnerable communities, and the role of youth and women, it fell far short in doing what is needed to protect the youngest children across the globe from the climate crisis and safeguard young children's rights to a clean, safe, and secure environment. Given this fact, what must governments, donors, the private sector, and civil society do now to place young children at the heart of climate change decisions? First, greater advocacy to ensure that climate policies and adaptation plans address the impacts of climate change on the youngest children. Second, more funding, focusing on the most climate vulnerable and marginalized children in lower and middle income countries. Third, more research to raise awareness of the central role of early childhood development in protecting young children from the lifelong impacts of climate change. Fourth, a more empowered civil society and a more proactive early childhood development sector able to implement locally led and child sensitive actions on climate change. And finally, fifth, more support for programs and services to mitigate the effects of climate change on the health, development and learning of young children and to build preparedness, resilience and adaptation in young children, their families and their communities. In summary, early childhood development must be at the forefront of the fight against climate change. Urgent action is needed now to realize the rights of the youngest children and protect their future against the climate crisis that they will so unfairly have to face. ARNIC will therefore continue to work with partners at the global, regional and country level in advocating to place young children at the heart of all climate actions. Thank you.